welcome back to another episode of Smashing That Bass. So I'm always upgrading my uh, hard bait, you know, like airbrushing uh, bass baits. Um, I'm always upgrading that stuff as far as like foil, stuff like this, like I'm, like I'm going to show you today. Or, you know, new paints or maybe new techniques, you know, I try to every once in a while revamp a little bit. So this here is the um, adhesive foil, which would be this stuff here. Uh, you know, you can pretty much use a, a hair dryer to, uh, uh, once you cut it to your, you know, your liking, you can pretty much use a hair dryer to, you know, kind of help the adhesive stick and put it on. But I want to try, I, I wanted to try something new. I wanted to try the more, I guess, professional way, which would be this heat stamp uh, foil here. So, um, I got this heat stamp pad. I cut it uh, into four, four pieces. I think this is about... Uh, five eighths of an inch or three eighths of an inch thick actually that can hold the heat you got to get it to about you know 450 degrees or so um, Fahrenheit to uh, to get this stuff to stick kind of roll this out put the bait on it and then I just cut it So I'm going to take the iron off. You want to leave this side down. You want the back side to, to be what goes onto your bait. Just trying to get it around the bait so it goes just a little bit around so that when I paint I can run the paint right paint right up to that seam. Throw a little bit more heat on it. So when you're using your iron, you want to use the highest setting. Um, I'm using cotton slash linen is gonna be your highest setting. It's gonna get you up to around 400 degrees I think it is somewhere around there for 425 450 maybe um, You know you can get a hot press machine but that's going to cost you quite a bit of money This is the cheapest and easiest way to do it There is a lot of going back and forth to get the pattern to stick correctly You can see Right here where it's not really outlining the bait, so we're going to try to try to hit that a little more and try to get that to roll around that edge a little bit. Get a little bit more up here by this gill. Now we're going to do this other side. You can see where the heat transferred the foil here. You can see like kind of how the gill is there and how this is nice and tight and flat. You can see out here how it kind of isn't so flat towards the back so we'll heat it up a little more. You know we'll just keep working it until you know I feel comfortable taking the foil off. Kind of like this side. Kind of like this side here. See how you can see the gill plate real good. And you can kind of see down the back real well. We'll probably hit that just a little bit more before we're completely done. But I want this to heat up. And uh, so we can finish up this other side first. All right, let's give this, give this other side another go. So this is the cheap way to do it. Uh, you just get yourself one of these. Um, you just get yourself one of these hot stamp pads. You can get it off of Amazon for like, I think it was like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. 
get yourself a little cheap iron, get yourself some hot full stamp, and go to town. Alright, I feel decent enough about it. We're going to take you outside and take the paper off and see what it looks like. Unfortunately, the sun's not out, so we may have to go back inside. There we go here. I guess we'll have to go back inside since the sun's not out. Let's go take a peek in there in the light. Give you a little shine. So there it is there in the in the light. It actually turned out really, really well. Um turned out better than the first time I did it. I'm really digging that. You can see how that turned out. You can kind of see at the bottom there where it kind of stopped. You can kind of see the jagged edge, but that bottom, that clear bottom, and that clear top will be covered up with paint. And then uh, you can even put a translucent over this. I'm really digging the way that this turned out. Definitely be doing more of these, and that transparent I got, I think, would be pretty cool. I'll show you guys real quick one of those I did. It didn't turn out so well on that transparent. So here's a bait that I just kind of play around with. Like I don't use for nothing. Just, you know, patterns or whatever. But if you can kind of see that blue and that green. It's like a translucent color. It did get on there, but... It seemed like that crankbait worked a little better. Because this has more uh, non-flat surfaces. Like, you know kind of dips in and out uh, so I just probably have to play around with that but um, this is that translucent it's gonna look real neat once I can get it to to get on there right that'd be real cool to uh, throw on a bait and paint well the sun ended up coming out so there you go I think this is really going to change some things for me as far as like the baits I do and everything. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank all of you for your comments and taking time out of your day to watch. See you guys on the next one.